Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, today we're going to talk about VXP and um, whatever else people want to discuss. Uh, probably look at the uh, Harbinger builds again. And um, let's say hello to everybody. Magic Mike. Uh, happy VXP. Peg Leg. Mm, VXP, you must. To the dark side, you will come. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and the Saint. <laughs> Good day, everyone. <laughs> You're not going to... Uh, I'm not even going to try and compete with that, no. <laughs> okay, okay, just making sure. And Drippy. VXP. Okay, and KV. Hello, hello. Howdy, howdy. I was and, totally uh, off guard on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're welcome. It was good. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the... Uh, Bug fixes, and uh, um, we'll, I guess we'll get to that. We're going to run through potentially a, a couple of ways, depending on builds and whatnot, for the VXP targets, because it can be done efficiently if you do the 91. Um, you know, we have the whole thing that happened uh, uh, on Wednesday as far as seven hours of downtime. Um, it's all been taken care of in one way or another, I think, pretty fairly. Uh, I think they should have increased the uh, the redeem time by 24 hours. If something's off by seven hours in the future, you need to make it 24 hours to fix everything for everybody because people have windows when they can play the game. So if we're down for seven hours, it doesn't mean you add seven hours on because you, you might have missed somebody's you know time to be on because now it's a different time during the day when things are available. So hopefully they do that in the future. But the, um, <clears throat> I still people, I still see people dis on discord complaining about this, but as far as the fact that uh, Basilisk are still getting the bases somehow, but um, the change that was made was that the trencher um, people were using, um, well, basically the short and sweet of it is that uh, the Omega Executioner, which is the Omega weapon on top of your outpost, will attack the, um, will fire at the ship preferentially that has the lowest of, um, not available, not currently available health, but as it came into the target, it's maximum health. Well, to, not as it came into the target, because you could well, well, oh, oh, okay. well, the maximum health on your, the ship. Yeah, the maximum health on the ship. Because people were were people wearing them down before? Oh, is that what they were doing? Yeah, they, yeah, they're coming in with a ninety eight percent dead trencher. Okay. That's deflection that's higher than the Omega Executioner's damage, so okay. the Basilisk was not even getting targeted, and now you can't do that. Okay. So, but people are still complaining about it. So, uh, alrighty, let's move on. Um, we're in VXP weekend now. Um, Feral Beast, has anybody done it? It's the same target, right? It's the so, same ones as all the other godforsaken yeah. fo Photon targets. Yeah. But with, yep, the, not doing with, it. with X1 at Ravages, it's pretty easy. Yeah, I've been, uh, I'm up to the, the mastery rounds, and I've done it for instant repair on the map with Ravages. Okay. And... Um, I don't know. I, I it's it's for it's for the badger. It's build tokens, tech. I I don't know. I have four badgers built. I, I don't really see you know. At least for me, I don't really see a reason to do it. There's no upgrade tokens or anything like that in it, so I don't you know. Well, it's got. These, doesn't have the Sebastian two walls and stuff in it, and some other stuff that players. I, I, got, I got I, yeah, I got three of those. Yeah. If you don't have those, there's a, at least a way to get them without having to be a bounty person. Mm -hmm. well, I'm not a bounty person. You could get those in the raid, too. That's true. But, I mean, if you're behind, there's a catch-up. Yeah, yeah. Um, next week is bounty. We expect the uh, Sky Saber. Um, I don't know if we're also going to get the pack weapon um, that came with it, the turret. <clears throat> I don't know if that's all going to drop in bounty or... What's going to happen? And then um, Peg Legs Beach Party. That's right. Yeah. 
And, um, oh, I forgot Foreboding Seas, which is happening the same week as Bounty, which is going to provide some number of the Omen weapons or whatever the limited weapon is for the Harbinger, uh, along with uh, five uh, upgrade tokens and eight build tokens and the non-limited weapon as well. Pretty much, I assume, all the tech um, potentially available. So... Um, even if you add them, he's talking yeah, about the bastion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the reason I haven't added any of mine. I mean, it takes 18 days for me. Other people, it takes 20 days. I'm like, uh, so it's 60 days total. Um, they do have an offer out there. How much was it? 19.99, 24.99. I got one for 299 gold. Okay, 299 gold. So, um, but they they might have pulled that one. It was. I'm not sure if that one still exists. Okay. The other reason for doing uh, Feral Beast, too, is uh, you get some chests on the three mastery rounds. So you got a very slight chance of getting up a decent road through. Yeah, and a much uh, higher chance of being in a junkyard dogs. Oh, I'm, I reckon it's probably a 90% chance of a junkyard dog, but yeah. I suppose you're not yeah. going to find out until you have a crack at it. Yeah, I, I, if you want to go to the next uh, slide, Mike, that's there. So, I was hoping for lucky bastards myself. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Can't believe they're still in there. <sighs> well, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it's. Um, they say they've been reworking the road crews for what? <laughs> Two 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 and a half years? <laughs> Much longer than that. <laughs> well, there's been probably, what, two two new ones in all, in the last eight, eight and years. They, and they took away how many? <laughs> yeah, they took Four? away the SARS. Uh, radar, radar, radar runners, they took away. Yeah. The sub one, uh, what was that called? Uh, Crip. Keepers. Trip keepers. Yes, yes, oh, that yeah. was a good one. And then Bullseye Brigade. Well, they haven't. You can allegedly go on still, the list. You can still get one occasionally. I think you have a higher chance of being struck by lightning. <laughs> oh, I've rolled two in the last two years, I think. And have you gotten struck by lightning? No. You're overdue. Oh, have you been immersed in a in a uh, a plague of mice? No. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> that was the other thing. Uh, peg leg, it says your devices are not connected. So um, I can add you back in once you uh, connect your devices, whatever that may mean. Um, hmm. Probably Mike. There we go. There we go. Add you back in. Um, Cheshire, no, but- I, I don't. I don't want to do all the prize packs. I want to skip the first two prize packs. The first maybe three. I don't need those VXP tokens for the badger. I'll just skip right to the end. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. The VXP tokens are yes, the ones test. that are keeping you in it. Yep. You're there, Piglet. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not really. I don't know. I'm not too jazzed to do it. This shows, you know, because this comes from my game as far as what the screenshots I took. And I'm like, yeah, I don't don't really need any of that. So I haven't been doing it. I was sort of excited, um, hoping they would uh, uh, throw out some, you know, be part of an upgrade type of thing. But, oh, well. Hey, what do we call, what, what does the badger upgrade into? What kind of animal is it? Coming soon. (laughs) <laughs> never heard of that animal before uh, well I could go to honey badger that's true you know that would, that would be the next step up as far as uh, you know we have the uh, the kind British badger and then we have the, uh, the Southeast Asian honey badger which is uh, much nastier so um, alrighty um uh, at what state is anybody? Wisconsin Badgers. Never mind. Go ahead. Yes. Um, at, at what state uh, is anybody um, to run through the VXP target? Um, Saying, are you 
I'm assuming you're not repaired yet. I'm not repaired, but it doesn't really matter if I'm not repaired. I can just um, I can run through it and, sh and show the technique we were, we were using. Okay. Okay. Um, and Derpy, uh, you just have blank calls with no specials? Yep, and they're still damaged. I actually might in the next few minutes here have one ship that has, has some specials on it. Okay. All right. Um, so you're so not good. Are you guys actually taking damage on your uh, new fleet to get VXP? Well, that's what I'm trying to show them how I to was. without taking damage, or pretty much not taking damage. Well, I, I was doing them damage free, but only the 90s. I was doing the 91s. No, I was doing 90s. Okay. If you take out the pancakes and those other, what yeah, I think same same riots, thing for that. Yeah. If you took out the riots, you got left with the little the little ships, which uh -huh. gave you something like or well, thirty nine to forty thousand VXP. With with with, uh, with a crew or with no crew? No crew. Okay. I, I, I rank my harbingers without using a salty because I was uh, trying to rank a couple of uh, abominations. So yeah. I was picking out the the capital ships with the abominations and retreating out and uh, using. Yeah, the, it's, it's basically what, what what I've been been trying to, to show people. But yeah, I was using the, I was using the nine. The okay. little ones in the ninety the ninety weren't weren't even shooting any yeah, well, do, we, do we want to try that then first hefe and then we can do the 91 afterwards um either or way do you just want to do straight into the 91 well, 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 well let's do the 90 I, I mean i haven't i've i i liked it because you had more of the big ships to get um because mike was doing it and he was getting with the triple salty he was getting 150 150k yeah so, so are you uh, sharing? Yeah, he's, 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 yeah, you're, you're on. Yeah. So basically, trenchers is the best way that I've seen to do it. Um, but this, the 90, I don't, um, okay, you can take out that one. Um, yeah, because yeah, so. a single, a single trencher is all you need. So just um, take out the pancake and then head up to the top of the screen. So leave those ones away alone. Mm -hmm. So you just go through the, um, yeah, you just go up to the up to the right, although you can do it or the left. That way, yeah. I guess that's a little bit easier than the other way, isn't it? I think it's less points, but we'll see. Yeah. Probably a little, a few less points, but it's less points. But there's no damage. But there's no damage at all, right? On the ships, because be... those little ones don't no, don't do even uh, shoot. I don't think. Yeah, and, and it's, the trencher is more effective than the abomination, or yeah, because well, the abomination was having trouble killing these bloody things. Yeah, because of the projectile speed, it's because it, yeah. you know we have the built-in accuracy-based missile in the trencher, which makes it uh, um, easier to deal with. Well, I lucked out on that one. <laughs> yeah, because you want to tell them about your badger experience. Uh, yeah, I had this probably had the same thing where that uh, riot or whatever would finish up at the top of the screen and you couldn't shoot it, but it did shoot you. You had to let the bloody thing time out. Time out, yeah. yeah. And then you yeah. only got like three or 400 uh, VXP for it. Yeah, for the damage that you took because the projectile yeah. speed of the rat badger was not enough to, you know. To right, hit. couldn't hurt nothing on that. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um yeah if you drive them yeah the abominations yeah, the are, abominations were all right yeah i mean they're not they're not as a quick clean kill as the trencher are on them um yeah because I mean, you know you have the rights that go real fast and you have to wait till it's right next to you till it's right next to you and you're shooting so it doesn't have time to run away or yeah, or, you, or you gotta drive them into the islands yeah, caught up on the islands. See, that's the only problem with the trenches. It's got a, such a wide firing that uh, you can't sneak in and get the pancakes without shooting a couple of the little buggers. 
And to state the obvious, I guess if you got some defenders that you need to use tokens on, this is a good way to replace them. Mm. Because you can kill these targets pretty much uh, every time. I think with this three, mechanic. So this is um, this is just the build I've got at the moment on these. So I've got the three specials, mm. and I've got a few weapons on. But it doesn't really matter if you haven't got any weapons on because yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah. Cause it, this is actually a more elegant solution for players because if you have no weapons, no engine, nothing on it, if you just have completely blank call, which you said you have derpy, right? That'd be perfect. I had a completely blank hole, but then I just refitted it and put some things on it. So mm -hmm. now I have a done minus two armors hole. But, you know, as far as the rest of yours. Well, they're, they're, yeah, they're just about completely blank. So this but they're, at, they're at 73% ranked and 75% ranked. So. Okay. I just woke up this morning, hit the target, they died, did that one more time, and it's almost done. So. Yeah, they're, they're not going to fire at you. Uh, no, no so they, don't, they don't scratch the paint. So you could probably just hit the S button. Well, he's trying, yeah, he's trying to if do the spinning wheel of death. Just trying to spin a bit more. Yeah, I think that's going to get old very quickly. If you yeah, I'm going to get dizzy this target. road cycle. But hey, once you equip the CIC, you can spin faster. I'm going to get see, even dizzier. I'm going to see on two of these. Because the CIC only actually takes two hours to equip. Yeah, yeah. Well, really? Got mine as well. I had one, one harbinger with just uh, one gun on it, and it took took a little bit longer to try and to try and kill all these, but it was still doable. It's very I'm old. Mr. Hasbro around in circles. Mm -hmm. The Hasbro technique. The Hasbro technique, sit and spin. We all remember those from our childhoods. Most. I don't think those are around in. Uh, in uh, yeah, they're probably not safe anymore. In Derpy's uh, childhood, along with oh, yard, I'll have, to, I'll have to go Google this. Yeah, yeah. Yard, 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 yard darts. You ever seen yard darts? <laughs> the original ones. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard of those. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Well, we had them when we were kids. So that's that's a nice free way to get three defenders. That's what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I was saying right there. And you were already, you, you took no damage. Um, I took no damage. I already had a load of damage on this one. Yeah, so let's just see what we get. Um, so there's no no crew on here. Okay, so you can multiply it by three if you're going to run a Silver Salty. Hey, what's that base? It's kind of like mine. It's, it is kind of like yours, Derpy. Hmm? So yeah, there's... So thirty-two thousand there, no damage, no crew. Yeah. When when we did that same technique with the ninety-one, I only got thirty-six thousand VXP. So that looks like the way to go, to be honest. Yeah. Well, the best the best I did was about uh, I was averaging about thirty-nine thousand, but one one time I got forty. So I don't know what happened there, but oh, I I killed one Did one of those one little, little yeah, ships. Yeah, you killed you killed two before. Before yeah. you got harbingers in there, but it's really not going to take long with a crew on. I'll just I'll just chuck a crew on in a minute and hit two or three of them, and that'll be done. No, yeah. well, the only reason I didn't have a crew on mine was so I had the crew on the abominations because they were the ones that really needed the crew to get any VX all out of it. I just roll a salty. I've got one partial harbinger. I was going to see if I could. Uh, Take that in here and see uh, see how it did. Okay, are you going to screen share that or? Yep, yep. Just... Okay, just making sure. I tried to roll to replace the silver salty I used, and I bet I I bet I rolled fifteen of the irregular salties and never and took forever to get that one silver salty back. Just for reference, there's the build I'm using, fully fully built out except for two armors, so. And this uh, this particular one is at U1. You're yeah, one of each armor? And you yeah. have the assimilation CIC? I do. Okay. 
damage diffusion system and blue shooter battery on this. Okay. And I have not tried it in any of this stuff yet, so. Oh, you're not prepping it. Okay. He's going straight there in. Go. Oh, well, you're not yeah. going to last long then, mate. I'm not going to? No. So straight in, no loop. This is going to be fun. Uh, how, how about all this riots? Oh, it can't be that bad. <laughs> It can't be that bad. Famous. I'm not doing a lot of damage to these guys. Well, the pancake is doing a, a little bit of damage. Uh, and the pancake is... Is it just putting out rockets at this point? It was um, putting out uh, rockets and concussive Gatling guns. I thought maybe that that, uh, well. some gales might sort of shoot down those there were countermeasure spots on that. That's what I was asking though well, earlier. If there was, that's why I'm thinking there might be something on the flag. That's always a potential. <clears throat> or I should bring in bring another what what tier nine you near with a with some, <laughs> with some gales on that one. I'm thinking of zealous. Here they come. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Run, baby, run. I want Derpy outrun them. I can. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not a slow ship either. It's got like a hundred something combat speed. Oh, there you go. That's the way to do it. Yeah, you're just stuck on the land tile. Yeah, you got a hundred. Uh, what is your build that you got a hundred and some combat speed? I. That's the normal one. It's just a fast ship, right? I didn't check. Oh, 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 oh. no, I think it's 85. Uh, you're rounding up. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm rounding up from 85 to 110. It's the order of magnitude. Yeah, I'm not dead yet. Is it less <laughs> or is it a combustion? I'm just still, you know, I'm still. No, nah, it's, it's electric. <laughs> it's electric, so it should be a little faster, you know, in terms of zero to 60. No, just the armor must have made a fair bit of difference. There you go, here you go. Survivability, because I'm winning. Yeah, I just can't kill these damn things. Into one with a fleet of four, and they died pretty quick. But, but this is uh, oh no, this is only a U one. Okay. Yeah, just a U one. So it doesn't maybe, look like maybe my driving skills doing a hell of a lot of damage to you. Either, either that or they toned, toned them down since the start. Because I went in late last. And they did say they were toning them down at one point, but yeah. But, oh, right. but they well, said could, they said they were toning them down. So conquerors could do them more easily, but conquerors can already do them for instant. For yeah, instant I wasn't, had, I wasn't having trouble with the conquerors, I, but I, went I don't. In there, I, I went don't in understand there with, a, with my fleet of harbingers, but uh, they died pretty quick. So yeah, either uh, all the armors make a hell of a difference, or as I said, they've toned them down a fair bit. Yeah, I Paul. Don't, Paul, don't, Paul don't, comments speed. That means you have the. The engine on, but not damage diffusion system um, two, which adds an additional thirty five percent combat speed. Uh, I'm still not sure how Derpy rounded up eighty five to one hundred ten. Is uh, it or, closer to one hundred or closer to ten? <laughs> we're still working on that math. <laughs> Derpy, the cow, quick math. <laughs> I had not. I have not looked at the stats on this thing. So I could guess based on how fast the ship was. Yeah, you get that guy parked on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, cows can't see orange circles or orange flames. I guess those well, flames are. There's so many of them. I can't. Yeah, when you sit in them, I can see your health bar go down a little bit. So it is. I I guess I, I I can't tell. Is that one going to land right on top of me? Oh, it was. No, yeah, it's all the way I, down there. I, I hate that, you know, as far as like it's 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 horrible. But it's the, like the, the other thing is all the um all the right off the end of the screen as well. What was that? Yeah, the rights go off the end of the screen again. It's one of those things. Yeah, they're cheaters. Just, they need to fix that. Says and I do not do any damage to this thing. Uh-oh, now you're hurting. Yeah. Don't go in there. I'm not going in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm not in there. Don't worry. Don't go in there. Don't, don't. <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, 
and you think the first a lot of complaints if the if you no. got to do this in or in the next grade. if i have to do that yeah in every single raid i don't think it'll be three i think because don't I, we have an extra could... week of uh fm yeah but i think you'll still be able to do it with three and a flag why why, why would the raid oh, be three and a flag ships? yeah I can the raid is only two to three ships when we have that dockway issue once a year Um, yeah. I don't think it well, works. Well, it's a free. Well, you you've been doing um, three ships plus the flag. Yeah, yeah, that's different than what Josh was trying to make up. Or I don't know what. Plus, you've had them upgraded most of the way. Yeah, too. you know, it's it's three ships at U two, and it's at three ships at and flag at U two, U three, and X one. Oh, well, hey, dude. didn't quite make it through the target. But I bet I get a, a good amount of VSP. Yeah, but much more damage was explosive. Well, I'll bet try max you might be maxed out. Yeah, yeah. I was ours are fifty percent or whatever. Okay, if like, you have three ships done and you three with the time available, you can probably get a, a four ship. I missed how much VXP you got. I couldn't see it. Well, it hasn't popped up yet. Oh, no, that's down. why. Okay, forty-three thousand for one okay. ship. All right. That's not bad. And and you had a cr no crew. I had a just a regular. Okay, regular. Okay. So they've so also would... added that a couple of extra targets since last night too. It's now yeah, one hundred two. We got a little life on one of them there. Yeah. Yeah. Which is yeah. like one of the, which is the same as one of the raid targets. Yeah, it's the rat, the ravager target. Yeah. Yeah, it's for the Conquer Halls. It's been, I don't know. Uh, how would you explain? I, how I don't know what they're what they're talking about with that Conquer Hall stuff. Like, it it doesn't make sense. Well, what they, what they said. It, and you get about five. If you put a Conquer in there, you're getting about in the one hundred two or whatever it is. You're getting about five times the VXP. That you're getting in the 90 and 91s. Yeah, you only get about 5,000 or something like that in the. You're getting like 2,000. Yeah, yeah. the 90s or the 91s. I haven't run. Yeah, but, but, the... but both of them are bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. All right. I've got a couple of uh, abominations and badger. But even half ranked, and you know, I've probably wasted a couple of hours hitting. In the ninety, the ninety, just an app for the uh, for the harbingers. I don't know. I did the the, the ninety and uh, had all four of mine ranked in less in one crew, less than one crew. Yeah, but I was I had the crew on the the conqueror hulls. So oh, I was, okay, you needed. So to I can only rank the harbingers with just ordinary. Gotcha. Sorry. Okay. Um, forgot I don't do that PvP stuff. So. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is there? A, uh, I mean, I think we've shown uh, how to do the VXP target and how not to do the VXP target. <laughs> yeah, and it's better than which, I thought which it was. One was be, which one was which? when I first looked at it, <laughs> well, you know. mine was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. clearly got more points than me, so he yeah, must yeah. be the better way. Yeah, 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 with fewer ships, so you know. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> that, that was, you know, I mean, if uh, Derpy had gone in with a little bit of prep, uh, you know, probably, you know, uh, my, I was trying to you know, show, show the target away, but, and how it looked but, and how it was going to perform, but, you know, but probably less damage, right? It's all good. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, there, probably there, less there, damage. There's multiple ways to, uh, you know, to crack what? this cadet. When I first looked at it, I said, oh, crap. But it uh, turned out to be pretty good. It's a good VSP target, SP, VXP target. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Um, uh, should we go to the next slide? Should we? I guess we can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
Let's bring yeah. one. Over. I'm over, over that one. Over that one. Let's move on. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, we talked about this on Wednesday. Um, I know Mike didn't follow it, right? Well, well, that's Mike. Okay. So. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm, you know, willing to do it again. Mm -hmm. um, basically, I consider the no-brainers, um, and um, I, th I know it was just first presented to uh, Derpy at that point. Um, I consider the no-brainers the Neural Network Engine. Damage Diffusion System 2, Reckoning Ammunition Casings, and Liberty Belt is the no-brainers as far as specials, and then the Assimilation Generator CIC are the, the no-brainers. And then um, one more click. Yeah, this is where I might get confused. All right. If you plan to have your um, fleet of uh, Harbingers at U3, um, one more click. At U3 for the start of the raid. Oh, one more click. Yeah. Or, or if you're trying to optimize for the second raid when you think you'll have them there. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. but but if, you have to, if you're going to have downtime, okay. But basically the reason that I say um, if you're going to be at U3 for the first raid, you want to have the Bushido battery. Um, because if you add up the um, uh, depth charge critical chance from the reckoning ammunition casing, 35, the assimilation generator, um, 7 times 5, 35, you're at 70. Um, assuming you're at full R&D, we're at 87. Um, Okay, we'll just stop there. Um, now, now you have a choice. If you're not going to be at U3, you have a cho choice between on the uh, the fifth um, uh, column over, the Bushido battery adds 50% concussive damage and splash damage reduction, and 24% weapon weight. Um, it has four less hours of build time than the impact overdrive. Okay, you're at 87. Um, if you add in the depth charge, um, uh, I'm sorry, the I'm sorry, the impact overdrive, it adds 15, takes you to 102, which I normalized to 100. Um, you are doing a good amount of damage, but the issue is, um, if you okay, and then the, the other choice is. You are at U three, and you put. I, well, I, I don't, I don't get your math there. I was, what? I was getting different numbers. I mean, I was not getting to one hundred and two. I was getting to one hundred and twelve. Well, if you're at U three, yeah, I, I, I was removing the U three on that one. I, 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 you know, the U three was not there. So if you're not at U three, you're. That's what I was doing in this example. That you're not. I'm not at 102, not at E3. I'm at 97 versus 82. <clears throat> okay. And okay, 97 is the number you get with Bushido battery, and at U3. Right. No. You need well, to yes. Yes, yes. That's, you can check your math if that's. And it's also the number you get at impact with impact overdrive and U three. No, you. It's not ninety seven. It's uh, over a hundred. Right. Yeah. It's also the number you get. Well, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So basically, what happened? We'll cut through that and basically say if you're not going to be at U three, um, I would choose impact overdrive. If you don't ever plan to be at U3 or whatnot, because you end up with a 14% um, um, increase in damage over Bushido battery if you are not at U3. Um, if you are at U3, if you put Bushido battery in over impact overdrive, you get a, it's only a 3% increase in damage, but yeah. You, Additionally, you get splash damage reduction of 6,400, um, uh, less build time. It's about four hours per ship, so it's about 20 hours. 
um, and you get the splash damage reduction. So it's it's it seems beneficial across the board if you plan to be at U3, either the first raid or at some point along the way. It's at, a, it's the it's the endpoint build. There you go. At any point in time, if you plan to be U3, the Bushido is the way to go. To super, yeah, and it, my, it's a very mind. slight advantage. Okay. So, well, I, it, until we see how much splash damage reduction matters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not, not a, e even if it worked one hundred percent effective, that sixty four hundred would not yeah. do a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and, and again, it only provides three percent um, damage boost. Yeah. When you're, well, you're, to, to, you're two point six. I don't know why you get to round up and I don't. But, no, but, you yeah. rounded up from eighty five to one hundred and ten. Yeah, that, that is not. That's 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 fifteen percent. Uh, all right, you're yeah. rounding up way more than fifteen percent. <laughs> no, no. Which, uh, you're running uh, a. Uh, you're running a. Uh, what? Which specials do be using to get to 110? <laughs> we, we We're yeah, rounding up by the same. Yeah, yeah, that well, by the same like, amount. Oh, by the same okay. amount. I'm overstating the actual value by 15%, and you're overstating the actual value by 15%. The special source on his state. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, on his state. That's why I'm getting to 120 combat speed, don't you see? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. So, yeah. Just one caveat to stick into all this, too. We don't know what the flagship is going to bring to the table for bonuses and effects. There you go. That's another variable. Unless it, unless it takes away crit chance. <laughs> the, the, only thing, the only reasonable thing would that would give you more crit chance, in which case it's even better to go Bushido battery. Yes, but I've made up my mind. Yep. And yes, Josh, there will be X one like always. Yeah. Ooh, even the Sith can let screw that up. <laughs> yeah, so. Always two there are. You one three, you three, and the next one. <laughs> Oh my! So yeah, I was waiting for Yoda to explain how uh, you know eighty-five gets uh, rounded up to one hundred and ten. But yeah, it's all good. Oh, I thought we're the going to there. there. Multiply, <laughs> multiply. They will. <laughs> all right. Um, so I know it sounded like a complicated explanation to get there, but I, I honestly was confused. But now I got it simple. If you're going to go well, to your tree, I, get the get the Bushida. It would procedure. have made more sense if you if you didn't add up the numbers in your head and you had them on on paper here on. The I screen. don't have any. Uh, yeah. Spreadsheets. All I have is a piece of paper that I write notes on that I don't remember what the note means when I read it later. But that's yeah. okay. Maybe the flag will have an evade boost on it. But we uh, have that wouldn't do anything. Impact. That wouldn't yeah. impact. I mean, it might. Sure. Yeah. That, that definitely could. But it wouldn't change this build. Also. Yeah, Speaking because of evade, there's nothing that's accuracy based in the yeah. In the it's all splash. Rating. Yeah, it's all splash dumb fire. So yeah, go ahead, uh, Derpy. Yeah, that's that's what I was gonna say. Ed, evade evade won't help in this target. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Anything else? Nope. <laughs> Alrighty. I will be quiet now. Oh, no, 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 no. it's I'm I am now not confused. Okay, it's nice. Clarity has been achieved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Is there anything we should be uh, discussing? So we're going to get more explosive damage or more concussive damage. Uh, depends who's driving, I guess. Right. <laughs> If you're going to mm, auto it, which point. doesn't seem like a good idea, it's definitely leaning heavy explosive. Yeah. So, so is that well, like I would suspect that the auto might not have the but a, uh, the snot balls in it, you would hope. Is the Does the level 90 target have those cheese balls in it? No. Mm -hmm. So that's the auto one then. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a three-in-one armor split? I don't know because even even in the ninety, it's you've got both damage types. So I don't know. I've always felt safe splitting them, but you know, especially you don't, have, yeah, to, you don't have to go out to the FM and get more of them. 
that's the other, you know, bright side of the story. Right. Although with the uh, 25,000 points or whatever is 186, it doesn't take long to grab a few from the FM. True. Yeah, I mean, here's the other, yeah, hopefully, you know, the Omen, Omen Gatling guns before the first raid. I, I'm still not sure how they're going to fix that because um, we need to get to 50. We're normally offered 40. Well, they gave us 12. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So they gave us twelve. So we we already had the had the TLC run. No, we haven't had the TLC. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. They'll just do. They'll do twelve times four and get to forty-eight and be too short. That's why I was. That's why I was sort of half expecting that there might be a couple of animations on the flat. That would balance it out. Yeah. Mm. So if you got four lines, twelve. Well, yeah, uh, that leaves you a couple of. Keanu Majors. The flagship brings events to the force. See, now I'm losing my I to I, I, I totally just missed what what we were getting up to. Did we say Keanu Majors thoughts on the flag? Was that it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you had two on the, that, that would work. But Or they forgot. Which is I just as likely right just now. Put a bunch more in pillage. It's the easiest way for them to rectify it. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to build my fifth ship, so I'll be all good. You're not oh. building it at all, or? Well, by the time I build it, we'll have had the TLC again, and equip it, we'll have had the TLC the second time. And maybe maybe the points or the, the shards in the, for the weapons in the FM or in the raid targets. Yeah. Well, look, I've got three built now. I'm not. I'm just going to keep upgrading. But my plan is, I'll get the eight build tokens from the from the first TLC. That'll at least get me enough to get most of it built <coughs> um, without having to use any more FM tokens or anything. So I can save those for the flag. Well, I've not been approached about adding any into my beach party, so. <laughs> Yeah, there's an idea. Yeah, we just we have we need ten more. We have an extra event. Beach but if you say it hasn't like happened, it hasn't happened. TSM thinks it's a two and two on this one as well. I'll probably do that just because Sounds I'm lazy, but I, I'm I think it's going to be more explosive. If I was a betting person, I'd put my quarter on the explosive side as well. Yeah. But that's how big but, of a well, person I am. I just remember the Ronins. TSM went the wrong one, so I'm going to do whatever the opposite of whatever he says. If he leans concussive, I'm going explosive. If he leans explosive, I'm going concussive. So, so one thing I'm finding in the VXT, VXP target, and I don't know if anybody's noticed it, when I let it auto, my ship one does not move. Because you don't have an actual weapon equipped to it, you just have the built-in weapons. Correct. The other two, I do have weapons on. Yes. Yep. Okay. Question answered. I only knew that because I ran into it. I started the battle and nothing was moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I see. That's why. Yep. Yep. The other two had got weapons on. That one hadn't. So. Do we have plans to circle around to the FM at all, that new target, or for any point of discussion? I think you can probably discuss it now, as uh, FA seems to be away. I've, I've, autoed, I've autoed it a dozen times. Well, if you're not autoing it and you're driving it and trying to minimize your damage, <clears throat> you can actually clear that middle turret that's got, what, three or four, I think it's three of the heavy explosives on it. From from a position of cover, I know when we were, saw the first couple runs on it stuff, people were getting, outside of Jerry, who built a Super Splash version or refit to that. Oh, I got to go check that out. Um, you can actually pop the middle thing if you pick the right turret to target. Is that with a 
an extra spooch on the crew or no just no just straight up no crew anything i was gonna i was gonna queue my fleet up and and do one to show people if we need to or want to do it do it well it'd be worth it just uh in case someone wants to yeah, just so people know that it, it can be done and here's how you do it and I, I showed my neighbor who doesn't have all the 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 newer mortars on his and he was able to do it as well so it's not like it's exclusive to you have to have the cutting edge and i'm u3 it's you know again i'm not top edge of anything so um let's see here half are you back yeah i'm here okay i'm gonna queue up a share here okay Hey, Paul. Are we done with slides, by the way? Or do you got any more? I don't know. You know. I'll, I'll just leave. Who knows it's going to be? Okay, I'll just leave them up. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do, do this with no crew on or anything just to show how I've been doing them. All right, thank you. I'm tanking just on this one because you can Thank cut it down God. a little bit. Thank God. Gather them up. Yeah, I, I watched Jerry's video to see what he was doing that was different. I thought, hmm, he must have changed his build. And sure enough, he went to some super splash setup. And you're not running a crew. Not running no. a crew or anything. Okay. No, no, I'm just saying as far as the super splash spread type of thing could yeah. potentially be, you know, uh, you know, Molotov maidens may help you get the same sort of similar results. Is what I'm saying. Molly yep. maids. What? Molly maids. Molotov maidens. No, I'm trying to make a joke. Molly um, maids. Okay. It was, wasn't good, sorry. <clears throat> Can't win them all. Oh, I always told me that. Unfortunately, all these, these ships are stuck just so you got to get into range and take fire, which is the bummer. And I'm certainly not employing any sort of elite driving or anything on this. Okay, so the key thing, this anti-rocket turret that's right there, target that. I went further than I intended to, my bad. But that will splash out all your bad, your heavies. Oh, yeah. And this guy right here was the one that was always standing still. And with no crew on and stuff. And you can stop to do it from cover. I was just driving recklessly while we're on the show, I guess. Um, at this point, I just barrel through over here and usually avoid all the ice, but whatever. Um, knock that out, and that takes care of that ugliness which leaves just the, the problem down here is you can't sneak anything in you can't snipe or get into this without having a problem that's where that's where almost all my significant damage comes from in this target is those last two <clears throat> now if you're autoing them you don't care that's fine but And I did, I did some the other night. I got a very consistent uh, fifty minutes out of doing them per target. Driving, driving. Yep. And what, what, what was your uh, time autoing? Uh, I did not auto it at all because it didn't seem auto friendly to me for what I want to get. I autoed at the end of the night, and I think I might be wrong, but I think it was more like an hour twenty. Hmm. Yeah. So. So you sort of somewhere you autoed one on the show, didn't you, Mike? You got an hour and twenty one seconds. Something like Yeah, yeah it was an hour, hour twenty one. Yeah. That's right. Seconds. Like still seconds. Yeah. 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 We're still yeah. having that minute second problem, you know. Yeah, well. So here here's your built in problem. No matter what you do, you end up in a bad spot here. Yeah, you sure do, don't you? Yeah, because um, you got the two. Right. The two only thing I thought stars. I'd go around to the right or to the yeah, to the to the right and get that one uh 
Okay. Unless you split your fleet and try and shoot them back at the same time. Right. This here should be providing some level of cover if you can do it right. But it's not much. Is there enough range? Well, at least it's to cover you a little bit from one of them while you're taking out this Hellstar is my thinking. Oh, okay. Yeah, those those are the ones that are kind of a pain in the bucket. But it doesn't look like it does. It looks like that can no. still get to you. That's what I was thinking. You get that Hellstar at the right at the top first, but it don't matter. It doesn't matter either way. You got a Hellstar blocking you. Yeah. And at that point, you're done. Anyway, but the whole the whole point of it was if you target this this one right here without a splash enhancement, you can clear this whole thing out for whatever amount of help that provides. I mean, it it, it could reduce some. Depends on how badly you're doing on it. Yeah, well, the first two I tried driving, I got about 53 minutes of times. And after that, I decided, well, I may as well auto and uh, right. bang them in for repair every night. And I got That's what I do. Three, is, three hundred, as long as you don't. 300,000 points. So just all going it. And I still had uh, probably a quarter, a quarter plus of fleet left. So I think it was about eight. Of, eight odd hours of damage um as long as you don't screw up on that with the middle platform i just overshot while i was too busy talking and not paying attention i had this usually around uh five or six percent on the explosive and eight percent or so on the penetrated was my typical number and i was about 10 minutes less than that. so if that's helpful great if it's not sorry it's you know something i noticed it's always helpful Okay, Paul, Paul, you want to do a, a VXP target? You there? Okay. Well, uh, all right, so I guess you're not. Paul? Okay, I'm going to pull you back off. And All right. Um, what happened? No, Paul. Oh, I, Paul see, I, I see, I see, I see. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, no, he wanted to do a target, but I can't. Uh... No, I just saw switching going on and didn't see what happened. Yeah. Um, uh, Paul, let me know if you want your cube back up to do the uh, the 93 at any point. Um, I don't know. So as far as, you know, we still have the special slide up. Um, mm -hmm. Is there any... Um, Anybody else have any other ideas besides what I presented, or is that sort of? It seems simple to me as far as how to do this. Yep, I, I think no. that, Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of options to be honest. Unless someone wants to go for a, a speed build or something like that. Yeah, are we are we ruling hyper three out of the equation here? Does, does it stack? Oh, don't do that. that. That was the first thing I wondered of, was, do we have a stacking of damage diffusion, right? Yeah, yeah. No, two is more powerful. Yeah. Well, hyper 30 instead of damage distribution system two, it would give you, I guess, yeah, less, it's less not helpful. Speed. So, yeah, there's no reason. Yeah, we are ruling it out. Yeah. yeah. Um, for Greg that's asking uh, in the comments, the CICs, you can only get two per week in the FM. Yeah. But they only take and, an hour 59 to fit, so they're, they're pretty easy to fit. But they don't. And, uh, they on don't, those, on don't those CICs. It, it might look like they're not affecting anything because they're affecting everything within, I think it's 40 range in the fleet. So the one with the CIC won't go faster than one, on the one without. That's what because I was it's a, it, it's a cap to, it affects yeah. everything. Yeah. Okay. That was my concern. If you have some with CICs and some without, are your, is your fleet going to split up on you? No, no. The no. only thing that's not or related is the, Massive amount of survival is added by them. Okay. You, you know, look under defense. There's a good amount of survival that's added, but everything else is aura based. Okay. Okay. So. All right. That's good. Yeah. How much survival is there added by that CSC? Let's see. 15,000. 15, 15, 360. Yeah. That's a. It's just that, like, it's yeah. like one, one each of the armies. Yeah. Your survival gets bumped up pretty, pretty high. Yeah. And what do you get out of it? Let's see, you get range. Get, oh, critical chance. We don't get range. We get critical chance and turn critical speed. Critical chance and turn speed. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Um, well, you're talking about a 15% difference. It's <laughs> huge if you've only got two of them. By the time you get five of them on a fleet, you're talking 15 times five on the turn speed. Mm-hmm. Is they stack? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and right. you're so, not going to notice the difference between, between two ships in the battle with it on, or you probably won't even if you just try three and don't, don't put them in slow motion next to each other. Okay. Okay. No, it makes sense. No, it all makes sense at this point. I like the build time. Yeah, two hours is nice. That's... Yeah, it feels like you've already earned them, though. Yeah. All right. Um... Um, Hefei, I don't know if you want to show... Okay. Our... You know we've always had the discussion about the X1 and the U3 um, Everests? Okay. Mm-hmm. So I... When the tokens were available, I actually upgraded one of my ships to X1. Mm-hmm. So I just thought I'd demonstrate that just to just to show that it's it's not um, not as bad as, as I said. Catas- catastrophic as we thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. So this I'm okay. just going to walk. So this is only a 166. Okay, so you have uh, one ship or two ships at X1? Just one ship. Okay. At- X1, so you won't see it to begin with, but when it starts obviously going through the... Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, what, uh, uh, what the Saint's showing is the fact that one of his ships ignores the ice fields. The ship and the rest of the one which is X1. Oh, yeah. okay. And the rest of them do not ignore the ice field, so... so you'll see a big difference here now. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, for sure. Holy man. But because I'm auto in it. Catches up. It catches up. Well, as long as your X1 can tank some damage. Granted, you've got the, you've got the, um, what's it called? Is it King Killer or something that's on the, I can't forget, I forget the term was for it, for some of these targets where they, and the these things they'll auto target the healthiest. Yeah, they, there was a name for it. Yeah, I think they call it the king killer, and it also has splash associated with it. So it's right. sort of a, yeah. And and it never really gets quite out further enough to get out the range of all the other antis anyway. So what I probably should have done, I probably should have put it in a one eight in a one eighty six and see how it went in that. The 186 is actually... That's got as many ideals. No, no, they've calmed it down a bit. Yeah, yeah. And that was the weird part about it, because you you would think they would kept on uh, escalating the uh, yeah. the ice field thing, but, you know, they haven't. And then this little final bit here is where you see a big difference because it's, it's going to, across the screen so it gets way out ahead yeah yeah well you're not too bad as long as it's not your flag got it yeah because the flag's generally got a couple more antis on it so it's not gonna kill stuff right as quick so if you if you're gonna go down that track, I'd probably upgrade four back ones first, then to leave the flag to last. Yeah, well, the only reason I upgraded them is because I've got the tokens. So there's no there, there wasn't enough upgrade tokens for the flag anyway. So uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm, what I'm saying is that you'd you'd upgrade all the other ones first because you know the ones that are gonna be out in front are gonna have the most damage. Yeah, so they're yeah. gonna take but, down stuff quicker than if you start off by upgrading your flag first. first yeah but as you can see from this because because that brimstone does target each one individually the damage is split pretty evenly across them all anyway so even though the fact it's got out ahead and gets targeted first time it gets into the ring it it then gets evened out by the brimstone so um, I certainly wouldn't spend any time on it, but if you have got tokens, I don't think it's the end of the world by by doing it. So. Okay. All right. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to try again, Paul. Uh, you wanted to dem demonstrate something? Yeah. Okay. Can you, can you hear me, Nev? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Can you see my, you see my screen now or not? No, no. You need to, uh, you need to make some changes as far as uh, sharing your screen because it's not, it's not, not an option for me. So, um, while while you're working on that, what, what are you planning to show us? Can you see it now? Mm, no. <clears throat> so, um. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm trying something now. Nope. Okay. Um, but generally, what what are you gonna try and show us? It's one of the PXP targets, correct? Yeah. Okay. And what, what, what are you uh, gonna do? Well, I'm schooled anyway, so. Okay. All right, um, but what, 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 what was the, uh, what was the insight? What, what were you gonna show us? Well, I was going to... I hit the higher of the XP target. Mm -hmm. The 91? Uh, I went in... No, not the 91. The whatever it is. Okay. And I hit it four times with a two-time salty dog and a skull three ships. Okay. And right. so I went in and went out I've got an engine on it, and I was trying to shoot in my build as well, to be fair, but... But you're not screen sharing, so... Uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm trying to... I'm trying... It's all, it's all good. Um, but, uh, um, is there... I don't know. Is there... A, no, there's a, not a route. No. No, but, but is there a big thing uh, for, for everybody out there? Everybody, not just you, Paul. Um, yeah. Is there anything that we're missing as far as what we should be, you know, trying to explain? Because we, you know, we have a wealth of knowledge here. And yeah, I'm, I know you do, but um, was there anything else we should be explaining? Hello. Nope, nothing else. Oh, nope, I'm good. No, I think we're good. Seems All right, like we hit the main points. Okay. Um, how to use the force is a complicated topic, however. <laughs> yes, that, that is that is a complicated target uh, topic. Um. All right. Um. Well, we see you all on Wednesday when um, we're going to be dealing with uh, uh, the new TLC and. Uh, Bounty and uh, the new TLC for the uh, um, whatever you want to call it the uh, um, for the Harbinger. So you know uh, that'll be fun. You know, maybe very big, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so all right, from everybody. From what I've seen of this target so far i'm not sure that the raid's gonna be all that fun yeah it's uh, i mean it is if it's no worse than the vxp target it doesn't look terrible uh, yeah but, but it's not i know there are not it, always it, it, it's, it's, it's not a the way i look at it i mean you know and derpy can chime in here as well uh, the way it's it's situated as far as like Okay, you know, what what was the raid where all of a sudden you have a burning ring of fire un underneath your loins? Ooh. Yeah, that was the first first Marine Year one. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, boom, you know, there's a ring of fire underneath your loins hurting you, mm -hmm. and you, you didn't even realize it until you could no longer have children. Until you felt something... Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 and then you were, you know, yeah. Yeah, well, I hope they don't do that. Well, but what we're seeing here in these targets is there's a potential that is 
there's a high chance that that would happen. That's where we're at today. And the, the fact that you've basically got to spin around in circles means that you're not necessarily <laughs> going to be too clinical in the way you take stuff out. So I'm still yeah. kind of skeptical whether or not there's going to be a chance for a countermeasure. Yeah. Because weren't we... When we had the the um, cheese balls before, there was a countermeasure for that, wasn't it? Yeah, Giles. Yeah. yeah. Well, we win the Skyfire raids. Right. Yeah. What if they if that's the same kind of a cheese ball they bring back, which I think everybody hated those darn things, but yeah, you randomly take a hit by that, and your fleet is half dead all of a sudden. Yeah. Those were, those were yeah. awful. Those were awful. And, and Derpy, did you look up the sit and spin so you're you're on board with what we're talking I did. about? I did. I did. I did. And, and, and yard darts, right? Yard darts. I knew what those lawn were. Lawn darts. Lawn darts. Very long, very long things that I I don't know. I would not <laughs> want children these days playing with them. Okay. So stuff I you made awesome. with when we were kids, you couldn't have today. Yeah. Remember, yeah. remember those uh, those merry-go-rounds that you used to run around and hang on to and. Spin around real fast. So you made yourself sick and fall off and hit your head. Yep. You fall off. Yeah, you fell off and hit your head, and your mom had to come and take you home. And... Or in our case, was you laid there until you the world stopped spinning. You got up and you did it again. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. righty. I guess we figured out all the world's ills. So. Uh, <laughs> um, I guess we will see you all and. Um, on Wednesday in a few days. Oh, and, sorry, uh, just, for, just for the TLC, what ships are we expecting to use? The the Ronin? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. TLC, is that? The uh, Harbringer Prize TLC next week. For, for boating oh, season. Right. It's coming oh, next, next week. week. Okay. It, it is next week, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah with, with the... Uh, with Bounty. Bounty, yeah. So... All you dads out there, happy Father's Day. Happy Juneteenth. Proclamation of Super Joe. That's not till September, yeah? Yeah. So, all right, people, we're going to end the show. Um, I think the link, uh, I'll put the link in one more time in case you want to join the after show. And... Um, We'll see you all soon on Wednesday, and uh, hope everything is working out well for you, everybody. So, later, people. Sure. 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 Sure.